When last we left off, Mr. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as fact. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction of the events. Ugh, that took long enough. Now then, if everyone would lend me their attention. At this stage, let's revisit that scene from Linny's perspective. with Halsey, which caused the loud thud. He did not realize that this sound could be heard by everyone in the opera house, which is why he claimed earlier that he could not hear the sound. Finally, he used the vase to knock her out before making her change clothes to prevent others from recognizing her. At this time, Cowell arrived in the tunnel, having heard that strange noise and caught Linny red-handed. So Linny proceeded to knock him out too before stuffing him into that box. Afterward, Linny passed the unconscious Halsey to his accomplice through the magic box in the audience stands before operating the devices such that Cowell's death would be ruled an accident. And there you have it. That's the truth behind what happened. Does the defendant's side have any objections to Lady Farina's description of the events? The key to refuting Lady Farina is the order of events. What Linny experienced and what he saw. This won't produce a particularly effective rebuttal. According to Linny, he left via the vent after entering the tunnel. He couldn't have had that altercation with Halsey. Hmm. Linny went to the room that contains the Oratrice's core. This is the actual truth. Hmm. Linny did not take part in the underground altercation. He only witnessed traces of the aftermath. the 
Nick, he did not remain there for any length of time. Finally, he reached the surface, and that was when the accident happened from his point of view. Therefore, he's innocent! Deceased's name is Cowell, Lenny's assistant. He... is recreate the truth. What Cowell did, and how he went from would-be perpetrator to victim. 